Oh boy, hi. Uh, welcome back to Wolf Quest, everyone. Oh goodness sakes alive. I literally just loaded in. Hey, stay away. Oh gosh, it's of course it is raining as well, so I can't even see. Uh, oh, he's up there. I can't even see where, where I'm going here. The pups have their names now. Um, hopefully they all stay alive. <laughs> okay, I think these guys are headed toward... Please stop it. Okay, hi, there we go. Well, that was a heck of an intro. Welcome back. I knew last episode's quiet was too good to be true. We are here with Tempest and with Chase and the Amethyst pack. And almost immediately, we almost had a casualty. <laughs> but we're good and uh, we're, we're okay, we're okay. I was just gonna settle in with the pups for the evening, but uh, as you can see, we've gone ahead and named them. Thank you to everyone who submitted names. We get a lot, as we always do, but I have drawn these names from the comments. So these are all ones that various people sent in. So we have a Gate, we have Pigeon, we have Luca, Pearl, Xena, Baron, and Nyx. And those are gonna be our, um, those are gonna be our pups for this litter for the Amethyst pack. And, Thankfully, we did not immediately lose one. I was worried for a second there, but I think we're going to go ahead and play with these guys and then sleep the night before anything else catastrophic happens, and we'll see how, uh, we'll see how things stand. Good morning. All right, and morning is here. The pups are hungry, but we don't have food for them right now. And the territory, there it goes. We probably have stranger wolves about to jump us as well because it looks like they are encroaching. So let's get these guys back in the den. Hello, Chase. And we'll go see if we can... Okay, Pigeon, I don't even think hurt us. We'll go see if uh, we can find them, chase them back out because, hey, no, that's our territory. Yeah, I had a feeling last episode's quiet was a little too good to be true. That was one of the shortest episodes we've had in a while, just because nothing was happening. And while I'm always thankful for the calm, it often does precede a storm. I feel like Tempest, with her name, has to uh, has to know that quite well. I'm also kind of surprised and kind of worried because I don't think we've had any illnesses yet. Or did we? I don't remember if we had one early on that resolved itself, but... I don't know, with a litter of seven pups, that always makes me jumpy, and I think Tempest herself would be a little bit wary of that, considering that she almost died of illness. She was actually the only pup in her litter to get sick and recover. She did also lose two siblings to illness, so she's kind of waiting with bated breath, I think. Uh, with a litter of seven, it's highly unlikely that we're not going to see at least two or three illnesses. I don't remember if we had one already or not. I kind of took a little bit of a break in between recording here. I've had a had a busy July. <laughs> but um yeah. Uh we'll see what happens with that, I guess. I I don't know. I don't know. I I get a little worried sometimes. We'll have to see. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to mark the territory, we're going to take this hex back from these heckers. They claimed it quite strongly. In fact, maybe I will, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll just run over here and see, because I have a feeling we could get jumped. Uh, they definitely have been through here not that long ago, so we want to be a little bit cautious, but it looks like they didn't really move the scent post, they just claimed over it, so hopefully we'll be able to, uh, to just deal with this quite quickly and, uh, and take back our territory. There's some pronghorn over there. We haven't really been hunting the pronghorn too much because it hasn't really been worth our while. I'm sure we'll deal more with them when they have their babies later in the spring to early summer. But uh, for now, it hasn't really been worth the, the effort to chase them down unless we stumble on one in an advantageous position for us. But the elk are so weakened right now that it's not really worth it. And especially, you know, the pronghorn, I think they're kind of supposed to be not even a challenge. Like, you're not going to catch them unless you get an opportunity. That's just how pronghorn are. Uh, they're, they're so fast that... Wolves, under most circumstances, don't really pose a viable threat to them. You have to get lucky. And unless I see a time where it looks like I'm gonna get lucky, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. We're just gonna... Uh, we're just gonna... <laughs> we're just gonna ignore them for the time being. Because I don't even think they lose that much health. Actually, I don't know how much health they lose in the springtime. I guess we'll see if we can bite one. 
Can we take a nice little nibble? Nope, we can't. So some of you guys have also asked, why do I not lock on when I charge the herd? Because when the pronghorn all scatter like that, if you're locked on 90% of the time, it makes it worse because you lock onto the one that you don't actually end up um, needing to or being able to grab. Okay, this is my... All right. That, heck that, then. We'll, we'll get them later. <laughs> um... But yeah, a lot of the time you'll miss your opportunity to grab a different pronghorn if you're locked onto one, so that's why I do that. Uh, anyway, I guess this tomfoolery was unhelpful, so we're just going to keep going and mark the territory and try to find some elk at this time of the year. Here we go. Here's an elk herd and apparently some bison in the background, too. Well, if you're laying down... Oh, or not. All right. Well, are you going to be weak? I'm just going to try to attack somebody nearby. Yeah, you're pretty weak. Okay, well, we won't even bother with chasing the herd then. You're kind of separated from it, and you are pretty weakened. Oh, and they're going to run, and she's going to lead us straight to the bison. No, how about we don't do that? I'm not here to hunt the bison. I'm here to hunt you. She thought she could get us in trouble by getting us charged by the bison, and she almost succeeded. Oi! I already have a bruised rib today. I don't need a busted up jaw as well. You heck off. Let me eat you. Your time has come. You must return, <laughs> return to nature, become food for my pups. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. There we go. All right. There we are. Yeah, I think all of our old carcasses did fade, it looks like. I guess we slept a pretty long time that time, too, uh, considering we'd had a pretty easy day the previous day. But yeah, um... Again, surprisingly calm out and about. I'm very scared for what that means, but we definitely did have a big attack at least, so not an entirely quiet day. Uh, but I'm going to let these guys eat. They've hunted successfully, and I suppose we'll head back and see how the pups are doing. I did not realize how close we actually were to the den. We are very, very nearby. It's just right over that hill. So, uh, yeah, we have food pretty close here. We'll see if something eats it by the next day, but that might make it pretty easy to feed these guys, which is always a plus with seven pups. Finding food can be a challenge. Uh, there are some pros to big litters, but there are also some challenges for sure. Uh, and it's, I feel like it's been a while since we've had some huge litters. I guess, no, nah, I guess a lot of our wolves here, well, not all of my personal wolves have had huge litters. I had some personal ones that have had smaller ones recently. And I guess technically our stream wolves tend to have smaller litters, at least, um, at least Hurricane does. So yeah, that's, uh, that's something interesting too. By the way, Hurricane Story will be resuming this week, Lord willing, uh, on Wednesday from 4 to 5 central time on Twitch. So if you're interested in that, there's a link to my Twitch channel, channel, Twitch channel, that's a hard thing to say apparently, in the video description. So if you're interested in joining in live, we're going to be naming some pups and you'll have another chance to get your pup names uh, uh, in the game if you did not get them in this time. So yeah, that's an interesting, <laughs> interesting thing we do most weeks. And hopefully now that that's not a bear, that's a stump. Hopefully now that my schedule is finally settling down, I hope, uh, we'll be able to get back into that more regularly because we kind of took a big break for a little while. <laughs> Again? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. I swear I saw that eagle and was like, there's no way. It's too soon. It can't be back already. Oh boy. All right. And everyone is scattering. That's not great. I have to be so careful here. Uh, and I know my being careful looks like me sprinting in circles like a maniac, but I am just trying to stay near all of the pups. Oh, pigeon. Pigeon is... No, 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 no. Okay, pigeon did go in the den, I think. I think. Pearl, we're gonna go back to the den. Quickly now. I hope this eagle does not attack right now. Please go in the den. Please go in the den. Pearl. I swear to goodness, Pearl. Goodness gracious. Alright, well, we're just gonna pick her up then. And, okay, good. <laughs> I don't know if the eagle... Like, the eagle used to be able to snatch pups out of your mouth in the in the old version of the game and i'm not sure that that was intended behavior but i am not about to find out if that still happens <laughs> i would rather not make that discovery goodness sakes though i know this is an open den but the eagles have just been a pain in the tail 
Oof, okay, well, our injuries healed, at least. All right, the pups are full on affinity, so I'm sending them back in the den before another eagle shows up. We even dreamed about eagles last night. That is how distressed Tempest was about this. Yes, I agree, Chase. We should go mark the territory, because holy heck, it needs it. All right, let's go, let's go eat some food, and then we're going to probably have a bigger day ahead of us. We've had some... Some quieter ones, but it looks like now the territory's decaying. The stranger wolves have been busy. Oh, heck off. That's a cougar. No. Get out. Get out of here. You leave. Be gone. Chase is gonna beat up the cougar. I'm just eating. I don't I don't have time for this nonsense. I do not care. I'm gonna finish this carcass. Yeah, I'm tempted to go for it. Nope. Still not happen- oh! Oh, maybe? Maybe? <gasps> Are the pronghorns slow and weak at this time of year? Hello? You are getting very outpaced by your brethren. Can I bite you? I'm not gonna have the stamina to bite for very long. Yeah, this one is definitely trailing, I am pretty sure. Yes! Oh my goodness! <gasps> so you will find ones that are weakened sometimes. Okay, we've learned a lesson about the pronghorn today. We've learned a very valuable lesson about the pronghorn. They do get weakened. Look at we're catching up to her just running normally, pretty much. Yeah! Okay. W would you cut it out? Did you turn around so that we're at the front of the herd? Oh my goodness. They're tricky little things, that's for sure. Alright, we should be able to take her down. Is she standing her ground now? Yeah. That'll make it really- goodness sakes. They try to get you run over by their brethren. Their brothers and sisters. They try to get you trampled by them, apparently. But, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll mark this. We didn't really need to hunt, this was just for science. But, uh, it's very good to know. What- okay, we- we should probably mark this territory hexes. I guess this- I, Actually, this- no, that one is. It's almost 70. I mean, it, it doesn't need need marking, but it's good to mark it. But yeah, uh, so apparently the pronghorn do get weak, so it probably is worth chasing them down, just seeing if any of them lag behind, because they are a very easy kill when they do. Why do I smell stranger wolves from Rescue Creek? Oh, somebody hecking around up there. I see. I see. We'll get you in a second. You can- you can wait while I go mark my other territory. Uh-huh, I see you. I see your scent trail. Are you somewhere over here? Well, I see the scent spores for it. This is too strong to be outside of our territory, I think, and they are headed straight for our den. All right, all right. Where are these heckers? Two hours and 40 minutes ago. Where did you think you were gonna go? Where did you think you were gonna go? Did you think you were gonna go to my den? No, I'm gonna kick your butt. I'm feeling feisty today. I got bigger things to worry about. I'm on edge from all of those darn eagle attacks. Yeah, that's right. You better turn right around and go back out when you see me coming. Did they leave? They might have. Yeah, I think they went back out the way that they came, possibly. Looked like they just turned around and just decided that this was not, uh... Not, not, not their problem, and they're right. It's not. They shouldn't make it into one. They've made enough of a problem for themselves by being in my territory in the first place. Get out! Get out! 4M? No. Ain't about this today. Tempest is... Tempest is easygoing except when it comes to the, uh, the locals giving her sass, and then she will, uh, return in kind. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I think warning has been delivered successfully. Uh, no, no, no rival wolves are gonna just hang out and lurk near our den. They, they better not. This wolf was right to turn right around and go back out the way he came back in. Oh, it's our- oop! I hit the wrong button. <laughs> we are heading back, don't you worry, Chase. Oh boy, well we got back right in time for trouble. Alright, Pearl. Pearl, where have you gone? Oh, right up here? Is this Pearl? This is Pearl. Ma'am, where are you going? Where are you going? Come here. Get back here. Alright. Well, <laughs> we've had 
I don't know. It feels like our outings have been very calm, and then our returns have been very chaotic. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and feed these guys. I think they've actually been mostly fed. It looks like Chase gave them a lot of what he ate earlier. So that is good. That is good. We have... Do we have somebody in the den? No. Who am I not seeing? Oh, Pigeon's over there. I'd, see, I'd see, seen Baron over here. But uh, Pigeon's off that way, so <laughs> that was where that was who I'd missed. She's sleeping, but I think we'll be good. I think we'll I think we'll be all right. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll let these guys rest again. Not too too much has happened, so I think we'll sleep one more time and uh, we'll see what uh, morning brings. Oh boy, there it is, y'all. The first sickness. Oh, and it's Baron. All right. Uh, the territory's not wonderful. It's still dark, but I think I'd like to go deal with the territory quickly here. I don't know. We'll see. We gotta get food, and we gotta hurry, but I want to reclaim... Hey! Get out! Get out! Did you think I didn't see you? Yeah, you better run. They, they left immediately. <laughs> they were like, ooh, I think I'm gonna attack. Oh, I think not. And they're right to. Oh, it's okay, Chase. You can stay back for today, I think. I've had him stay home a couple of times. I sent him back early yesterday just because I think it'll be a little bit be better on the affinity. But I think this time... How is his food? Oh, he's at 67. We might want to get him some food before the day's up. Although he could probably make it one more day. The adult wolves are pretty good about doing feast or famine if need be, but we will definitely have to hunt for him tomorrow. However, I think I just want to reclaim that one hex that they took really quickly, and then we'll spend the rest of the day with Baron, if we can. That hex got taken yesterday, by the way. I did see that, uh, but there were so many that got claimed over that I didn't feel like going back to mess with all of them. So we're going to take it back today and uh, give Rescue Creek a stern warning about trespassing because they seem to need one. All things considered, they will not leave us alone. Oh, maybe we can bring back... We've got the squirrel tail herd here too. Maybe we can also bring back a, um, a meat chunk. Gonna do a quick hunt if I can. This is a spike. You're a little stronger than I'd like you to be. You are also a spike. You're a lot stronger than I'd like you to be. Are we running? We are running. Okay, good. Just gotta stay out of their way for a minute. They are running right back towards my den quite, quite perfectly. Oh, that's the spike that we had just bitten. Oh, are you weak? You're advertising it to me. Good. That makes it easy to know who to hunt. And we'll leave the others be. But uh, this will be fine, I think, because we can actually just call Chase back out here then to eat. And he can get his fill from this hunt. No, you don't. No, you don't. Go down. Go down. It's all right. You're gonna feed my babies. That's probably not encouraging to you as an elk, knowing that those babies will probably grow up to hunt more of your kind, actually. Uh, sorry. Nature isn't nice. Ah, for crying out loud. No, you keep your dang distance. Chase is gonna go run right smack bang into him. Yeah, there he is. Okay, Chase, please hurry and eat. Chase, please eat your food. Are you serious? Goodness sakes alive. No, you bully, get out of here. Oh gosh. Goodness sakes. Chase, please be careful. I don't know if this is a fight that's that worth picking. I wanted Chase to eat. Maybe what we'll do... Can we grab... Here, grab a meat chunk. We're gonna work smarter, not harder here, Chase. You can have this. I guess we could just technically go hunt again. Why don't you eat the meat chunk? Yep, he'll eat that. And that should get him at least a good bit of food. If we need to, we can do this again. This bear's standing there, up there like, what is going on? Yeah, we don't need to play this game. All right, I would like one more. I would like one more meat chunk, just to make sure that Chase stays nice and full on food. Hey, you! Yeah, that's right. That's right. Follow us far away from our from the carcass. Oh, no, no, no! Don't you go back to it. Don't you go back to that carcass. Come on. Oh, he's wising up to this. 
No, 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 no. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Follow me. Can't run him right into the elk herd, can we? Yeah, we, we could probably if he wanted to keep chasing us. But I'm going to go ahead. Oops. No, don't bite Wilbur. <laughs> Actually, maybe Chase can just eat right here. Quick, snag a bite before he gets back. Oh, he's... The He's straight up decided he doesn't want a part of this anymore. Oh, Chase also took a meat chunk. <laughs> oh my goodness. Chase has caught on to exactly what we're doing. All right, buddy. The victor goes the spoils. Let's go ahead and eat because we do have to get back. I don't want to spend too long fooling around with this. You good? He'll figure it out. All right, we're heading back to the den here. There is still some territory that we could mark, but I think Tempest is concerned enough by this illness that she would not want to worry about all of it. She wants to try to spend at least half of her day with Baron, in hopes that that will end up helping. There's no guarantee, of course, but... Having dealt with sickness herself as a pup, I think she would want to put some priority to it. Even if she knows she does need to stay on top of maintaining the rest of her territory, she still at the end of the day wants to make sure she comes back with enough time to take care of her pups. So she's going to hang out here for a little bit with the pups and with Chase. Hopefully that will help Baron feel a little bit better. She's not horribly sick right now. She's, well, I guess she's down to 83. So she's lost about 20% in half of a day, which is not great, but I think it could be worse. So hopefully that means it's not a super severe illness. I, I suppose we'll probably see more tomorrow. Oh, hold on. I see something. No, 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 no. No, absolutely not. I saw you lurking. No, you don't. No, you don't. You have been busted. You are not coming back to hurt my pups again. You are not. You are not. Don't think I have the chance to completely take out this coyote, but you know what? We're gonna give him a solid warning. You get. Don't you think about messing with my pups ever again. At least it wasn't another eagle, but... Uh, no rest for the weary, apparently. Looks like the pups all went in the den pretty well, though, so that's good. Well, the day is drawing to a close, and Tempest is getting pretty tired. Baron hasn't recovered yet, but that's not surprising considering she just got sick today. She is at 71% health, but uh, that's not as bad as it could be. It's mostly what's going to be what's going to be what happens overnight that is more concerning or not and we will have to see about that next time because it is unfortunately getting to be about time to wrap up here for today so we are going to go ahead and end this off so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time but until then this is jay over and out